just in 10 minutes we are going to see how to show the last refresh date time in your report or dashboard if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe assume that you have configured schedule refresh for a data set in your report or dashboard you want to show a card visual that will show the last refresh date time as you can see in the above image how to do this is it straight forward or will there be any error that could pop up if an error is bound to happen how to solve it just a flying question before we start assume that i board a flight at chennai in india at 9:30 hours ist indian standard time to reach a destination called dubai in united arab emirates the travel time between these two cities is around 4 hours i'll be landing at dubai around 13:30 hours ist now is the catch dubai is 1 hour 30 minutes behind chennai in india so when i land at dubai what is the local time let me just keep the question as it is move on to talk about a function called date time dot local now which i will be using to create a table in my power bi file let me jump into a demo mode then come back to discussions i have a power bi file kept open in the desktop this particular file has acquired data from a sql server database and the storage mode is direct query i would like to click on get data blank query and then using a formula about which i have spoken already would like to create a table called query1 in which i have only one column called last refresh the data type is date and time and how do i get this because of this function called date time dot local now and you will be able to see my local time and what has been created here matches with my local time let me quickly rename this table load it to the model create a card visual call for this last refresh date time and do a little bit of formatting in a few seconds all right the formatting is completed i have a simple card visual that is showing the last refresh date and time and this value should change whenever i hit refresh let me check that click refresh and you can see the time has changed and that is in sync with my system time pretty much cool this is what i want let me save the file the name of the file is called jtm4 would like to publish this file to my power bi services within a workspace called youtube samples the report is now published into my power bi services and in my power bi services i can very well see the card visual along with the last refresh date and time everything looks to be good for me there is a minor format change here instead of a dd mm yy i have mm dd yy should not be an issue now i am going to configure a schedule refresh so i am reaching to the data set part of the report file click on the schedule refresh option check my gateway connections to ensure everything is good and then click on the refresh option to set a frequency so i would like this to be refreshed say every 2 hours a max of 8 times a day because the model is now considered as a composite model with a local table choose whatever time i want to set say it should happen at 9 pm and then i can have another time at let us say should happen again at 11 pm and then at again 9 o'clock in the morning and finally i am going to hit the apply button i could see a message on the right hand side top corner that the refresh schedule changes have been applied i would like to physically refresh the data for the data set and then would like to open the report everything looks to be good even at this point of time and finally i am going to hit on the refresh for the report and there comes a problem the time now says 155 pm whereas the actual time is 1925 pm so why this difference comes up and what is the cause for this how to get rid of this i am back to pavilion with the same old question what is local time in terms of time zone concept the indian standard time can be notified as utc plus 
5 hours 30 minutes utc stands for coordinated universal time if you are talking about publishing a power bi report the destination is a cloud space the power bi server where your account lives may not necessarily be in the same country the power bi server in the cloud follows utc it is not going to follow the local time of the country where it resides so when your report is hosted in the power bi services the local time for that report is utc and not ist it is as simple as you visit another country in a different time zone and then adjust yourself for that country's time so that is the actual problem we saw a few seconds ago so what are the possible solutions i can just add one calculated column to add 5 hours 30 minutes to the last refresh time that we have already created and then to use a format that can make things easier i am going to create a measure for which the formula is shown in the screen once this is done you will be able to see successfully the exact last refresh date and time in your published report let me do the corrections in my power bi file i have opened my lr table and then added a new column called adjusted time with a simple formula of adding 5 hours 30 minutes to the existing last refresh time then i have created a measure called show me in which i am using a function called last date for the adjusted time and this should be shown in a specific format in terms of month name and then date and then year and then the actual time components along with the am or pm so once this is done in your power bi desktop the refresh time will be showing an added 5 hours 30 minutes just don't worry about that save the file and then publish this you will be getting a warning about replacing the data set we are good to go with that i am going to click the replace option and the data set is now overwritten as i could see an indication saying that the publishing job is successfully completed now i am opening my power bi services page and i will be able to clearly see october 7 2023 8 hours 25 minutes pm and that matches with my systems time so by making two small corrections by adding a calculated column then using a measure i am able to successfully show the last refresh date and time in my power bi published report and this can be used in a dashboard also let us check this for one last time as you can see from the systems clock the time is 20 hours 27 minutes now and if i am going to hit the refresh button you can see the value has changed which means that the solution that we tried is working fine i believe you just saw the successful creation of a card visual to show the last refresh date and time hope the delivery is clear and you got the point we have just watched jtm4 video in the jtm5 video we will discuss about incremental refresh incremental refresh will be useful for many and that topic is one of the topics covered for pl 300 certification examination also stay tuned please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so far and do like the content if it really worth and please comment your suggestions for improvements and kindly share the information about this channel with your contacts thank you